Police trying to solve a tragic mystery on the Chattahoochee River. A toddler's body found in the water just hours ago. Terrible discovery made near Paces Mill Park. And what makes this so strange? Police say the body appears to have been in the water for one or two days, but no children have been reported missing in Cobb. So they have no idea how the child ended up in the water. No idea who the toddler's parents are. Joe Ripley is live close to where this body was found. Joe, police think this child may have been one to three years old. Yeah, and at this point, we don't even know the child's name right now. An autopsy being done on the toddler's body to determine how exactly they died. As you can see from the flow of the water here, uh, police believe the, the child may have been in the water for one to two days, making it uh, likely that it entered the water somewhere north of Cobb County. A lone pacifier sparking a series of questions. Cobb County police estimate the child was about one to three years old. The body found Thursday morning as Cobb County firefighters were near Paces Mill Park conducting a water safety training exercise. Ironically enough, um, they located a child floating in the river. Police say the body may have been in the water for up to two days, but the circumstances of the death remain a mystery. Rescuers have not been called out to the river for anyone swept away, and police say they have not had any missing children reports out of Cobb County. The name, gender, and race of the child all unknown right now, and they're working with other counties along the river to check for any leads there. It's really devastating to hear that a baby got caught up in those currents because some of them are pretty rough, like at some points. We spoke with visitors to the Chattahoochee, some shocked at hearing the news, some not. Can't tell you how many times I've been on the river, people have just gone missing. Oh my gosh, I lost my 13 year old son, where is he? I don't know. Like, it happens all, often, quite often. And just knowing that things happen out here, it just helps you be a lot more safe on the water. As the investigation continues, police are urging people to use extreme caution in the water during a busy 4th of July weekend. To any visitor that's coming to any body of water, please make sure that you are swimming with someone or someone's there with you. Please supervise your children and wear a life vest as well. Uh, this afternoon, cop police saying their 911 call center is overwhelmed right now. So instead, if you have any information in this case, call the tip line number that is on your screen right now. If you have any leads at all that can help police uh, learn what exactly happened to this toddler.